Have you noticed that even gorgeous women with a good heart get taken for granted? Hello ladies, thanks for tuning in. Before we start, please like and subscribe. And don't forget that you have my free femininity quiz to see how feminine you are. So today I want to talk about the women, the attractive women that we see, we see get taken for granted. So I'm sure you know about Emrata and her ex-husband. I'm sure you know about Beyonce who got cheated on by Jay-Z and all of that. And you might think, oh my God, those women are so beautiful. How come they get cheated on? Maybe you tell yourself, okay, if women like that get cheated on, then there is no hope for me and, and all men are cheaters and all of that. But yeah, I want you to understand more, you know, how men think when it comes to cheating and how to build, you know, an affair-proof relationship. So, you need to understand the male psychology, okay? A man can be extremely attracted by you initially, but you need to know that the strategy that you applied for him to be initially attracted can't be the same strategy that you use for long-term attraction and for, you know, long-term commitment, okay? You have other things to do, and there is also something that I want to mention is that the things that you do aren't like, you know, 10,000 things, okay? You just have a few things to do for him to keep on going love. in love for you. This is something that I always say is that love is an emotion and it fluctuates. He can love you more and more and that love can also decrease over time. And that's the same thing for you. You can love him more and more and you can also lose attraction for him over time. And this is something that I talked about on my on my Instagram page, Hi Value Queen, if you don't follow me is that men fall in love easily but they also fall out of love easily okay so i always want to keep it real with you and i think that women most women they don't fall in love this fast but when they start to but when they start to fall in love it's deep and they start to act like pygmies whereas for men it's different they fall in love fast but they also start to lose attraction and love for the for the woman pretty fast and you might think oh okay i need to have you know uh, a breast I need to have a book job, I need to do more Botox and all of that. No, it's not that at all. Listen, when you are part of the top 20% already, it's not about having more boobs or having a smaller waist. It's not about that at all. It's about how you carry yourself because listen, when you're already part of the most attractive women, it's not about looks. It's not... A lot of women are beautiful. What makes them stay, what makes them, you know, madly in love is when you manage to magnetize them. And most women don't know how to magnetize a guy. It's a skill, and just like any skill, it can be learned. And I love that quote from Brian Tracy, and he says, all skills are learnable, no one is smarter than you, and this is the best time to be alive. And I, and I agree with him. Like you can win a free consultation with me just by taking my free quiz. You have my Patreon. If you're already committed, you have my Patreon. If you want to learn you know, how to build an affair-proof relationship and all of that, if you're already committed, like you have all the tools that you need today to become magnetic. So yeah, take them. Okay, so yeah, most women don't know, you know how to magnetize a man, and I'm not saying that, um, I'm not saying that in the, I'm not saying that to blame those women in the sense where, okay, you got cheated on because you don't know how to magnetize him. No, you got cheated on because you are dating a low-value man. This is what I want to say first of all. Okay, those men are low-value because even though they aren't magnetized, they aren't supposed to cheat. Okay, when you when you aren't interested anymore, you're supposed to break up. So yeah, this is something that I wanted to clear out. And for those of you who want, you know, a healthy man, I want you to know that yes, being magnetic is a skill that you need to develop if you want to, if you want, you know, a healthy commitment and you want to stay for a long time in a relationship. When you are part of the top 20%, and when a man has access to the top 20% women, well, what you need to understand is like what's gonna make him attracted to other women isn't more beauty. Maybe you think, yeah, but how come a guy can cheat on a woman like Emrata or Beyonce? But you don't know Emrata, you don't know Beyonce personally. Okay, so assuming that those men were not cheaters and all of that, but you don't know those women personally, you don't know if they, if they, if they are feminine enough, right, when it comes to long-term attraction, you don't know if they are magnetic. But you need to know that if you, if you say this because those women, you find those women beautiful, like I want you to know that we get used to beauty, okay? It can't be the only thing you bring to the table. It doesn't work like that, okay? Because we all get used to beauty. What matters to men when it comes to long-term attraction is femininity and how magnetic you are. I want to challenge you. What are you doing right now to be more magnetic? Drop a comment, I'm curious.